Oh, John Salas, well, that was a, a great big operation. He had a barber shop, their home. Um, his wife, Dora Salvas, rented rooms there. Um, he had a two bay garage, gas pumps, bicycles for rent, and he also had a grocery store. It was, it was called Tony's Market at one time. And then after that, his daughter and son in law ran it, the grocery store. And we bought all our meat and vegetables and everything there. He first came here, I think, in, in 1905 lived and worked as a barber down in Codfish Park. He was a real character. I was working with for John Salvas, one of the great characters of Sconset, uh, who ran the gas station uh, when there was a gas station in Sconset, and uh, his daughter and son-in-law uh, ran the Sconset market at that time, which was only half the size it is now because the gas station and the, and the bays and the gas station took up the other half of it. And there was a huge house sitting right next to them where John and Dora Salvas lived. Uh, John had been in Nantucket all his life, but only in the summer. He was also known as John the Barber because that's what he did. He cut people's hair. And um, uh, we drove a cab for him and did oil and grease. One day uh, a car came in to be have the oil changed and fortunately, probably for the rest of my life. Um, John himself did that oil change, except he didn't change it. He forgot to put the new oil in, and the car made it about half a mile down the road, and that was on his account, not mine, thank God. John Salvis. As kids, we used to call him John the Grabber or John the Robber. <laughs> you rode to Sconset on a bicycle. You rented in town, and you needed air in the tires. It cost you 10 cents a tire to put air in those tires. Oh, John, John the Barber, John the Barber. John the Barber had a house that is now Larson Park. The house was called As You Like It. And then he had a, a garage and a little thing off here that was his barber shop. That's why it was called John the Barber. It was a very big honor to have your hair cut by John the Barber. And my grandfather had it all arranged that I'd have my hair cut. And I went, and he ushered me into this little room. There was a barber chair. And there were also a bunch of old broken down bicycles and a lot of grease around, you know. It was a very sanitary little place. And we, um, <laughs> he put me up in this chair. And by the time I got finished, I looked as if I had had a bowl put on my head and it was just cut like this. But I had had my hair cut by John the Barber. Joan brought back a few memories as she was talking. And one of them was about John Salvis's barber shop. Mom used to send me there to get my hair cut. And it was a Dutch cut. He cut it once, and he cut it so short, I think I cried for weeks. Yeah, I think it was Joan uh, that said she, uh, he, he, she'd have her hair cut. Well, he'd be maybe just change the tire or something, and he'd go right over with greasy fingers and start cutting her hair. Well, John Salvas was a character. Especially as he got older, he'd, I'd be walking down this street and he'd command me to go get his paper. I'd run over to the store and get his paper and bring it to him. He was a real character. 